Hey, what's up guys? It's been a while. It's been a while, but uh, I wanted to get back to you guys with the video. I got something new here in store. A little something new for you guys to see. New content. So this right here is my new used 2006 Honda Civic EX Coupe. Um, I was shooting for something with uh, great gas mileage, something that can I know would last you know, it, it's a good name brand. It's a good car. It's great. Um, I was looking all over for different kinds of vehicles with like the best gas mileage. Um, I was kind of fighting myself. I was looking for all smaller cars like Honda Fits, uh, Nissan Versas, the Honda Civic, of course. And I stumbled upon um, these 2006, 2007 modeled Honda Civics. I really like the the interior i like the outside of the vehicle but i was uh, you know i was interested in the interior as well the design of it wasn't too plain it had you know it had some character to it and i just started you know more and more looking at this vehicle and uh, i was really liking it um i did not want to uh you know come out of pocket for a vehicle i really wanted to be able to just you know go for a a trade i was trying to trade my ford explorer you know, of course, my Ford Explorer was a 98. Um, yeah, I was trying to find something that I could trade, you know, straight across just so that way I didn't have to deal with, you know, selling or, or coming out of pocket for a vehicle and having all these multiple vehicles and paying insurance and registration and whatnot. But um, I stumbled across um, this Honda and I was kind of just looking at it for a while while I was trying to sell my Explorer. I know my Explorer was great. I loved it. I had it done up. Um, it was just costing me too much for gas. I'm driving about an hour one way to work. So if you do the math on a V6, you know, it just uh, with the off-road wheels and roof rack, it just wasn't cutting it for me anymore. Um, yeah, I'd rather see my money be spent in better ways. So I ended up selling my Explorer and uh, I sold my Explorer for 4,400 bucks. Turned around and bought this Honda Civic for 4,200. Clean title, 129,000 miles. Um, everything was good to go. Brand new tires. Uh, the car was aftermarket, resprayed, so the paint, you know, still it's it's fair, it's decent, it's pretty good shape still. But yeah, I just wanted to bring you guys along with uh, what what was coming, you know, what's new to me and and the, the reason for doing it. And I don't know if you guys are kind of thinking the same thing way with these gas prices are, especially out here in California. It's horrible. I don't know if it's uh, bad where you guys live in the states that you guys live. Let me know. Let me know what kind of, you know, what it's going for for unleaded gasoline where you guys live. Um, some people, it's not a factor. It's not an issue. Me, I just, I don't like having to fill up every day and a half for two days. Spending 50 bucks on a tank. It just wasn't working for me. So, yeah, this is my Civic. And um, so far, I'm loving it, man. I'm just, you know, the car's dirty. It's black. It does show up a lot of dirt and stuff. So want to bring you guys along for you know just a basic wash you know what i'm doing at my house with it just to keep it up keep the paint clean so yeah guys it's been a while it's been a while since i posted some videos i've been super busy i'm pretty sure you guys know how it is just getting caught up with life man and not even caught up i would say you know we can't really keep up with things super busy just trying to you know make it happen living the dream working family wife kids mortgage all that good stuff all that good stuff but yeah i just wanted to get back to these videos with you guys and uh let you guys know i'm still here still here to give some content if you guys are looking for it i uh, appreciate all the all the likes and subscribes i've appreciated all the comments from all you guys um it's nice to be able to have people that are you know in the same community as you people that enjoy doing the same thing having the same passion and love for you know something that you like doing and uh yeah it's deeper than a car wash definitely it's deeper than a car wash it's just something about it it's just seems peaceful it just seems life filling it just feels you know it's just it's just adding more edge to your life just the simplicity of it you know but there's just so much about it that just makes it just makes it nice there's something that it does to us something that it does to us to our souls i have no idea it's just a it's it's a great feeling to be able to to detail and and just the outcome you know what you get from the vehicle when it's done to sit back and look at it and just be like wow that's me that's that's what i did you know and and then other people can see it and appreciate it the same way you do 
so anyways yeah i'm glad to have you guys here you know glad to have you guys be able to watch another video you know how has everybody been what have you guys been up to you know the, the sun's still out still hot um still enjoying it you know it always seems like where i live it's it's either it's extreme it's summertime it's blazing hot or it's winter freezing cold so you got to just take it as it comes you know with take it with a grain of salt uh you find ways to work around it you know right now i got the canopy up it's probably about 100 100 plus degrees outside right now and uh yeah i'm cooking a little bit i'm sweating but i got the canopy up so it makes life easier if you guys got canopies you know what kind do you guys use what, what precautions do you guys take when you're using them um normally you know if i'm doing a vehicle for somebody i would be having like weight bags sandbags or something they sell on amazon to um, put on the legs of the canopies um just so that way if there's any gust of wind or anything like that you don't want that thing taken off and hitting the car by chance so yeah the canopy's up it's nice i'm enjoying it out peaceful time doing what we do guys doing what we do but yeah this is the this is the new car and i uh, just wanted to start you know showing you guys how i'm taking care of it um just bring you guys some more content got more things to talk about towards the end of the video you know things to look out for um washing methods drying methods things to look out for when you are drying um yeah i'm gonna I'm gonna let you guys just enjoy the video. You guys go ahead and watch it. You guys have any questions or anything like that? Any comments, any advice you guys would like to give me? I'm all ears. You guys let me know. All right. Alright, so I just pretty much finished, you know, wiping down the car with the soap, scrubbing it all up and stuff like that. And I was getting to the point where I was getting ready to rinse the car. I started noticing that there was no pressure coming from the pressure washer. It's electric. And these are uh, one of the things that you could run into if you have an electric pressure washer. So too much power was being ran from one side of the garage. And I believe I popped a breaker so i am without power but it's always key to have a backup plan i do have a hose and i will be switching to the hose right now
All right, so when you're doing a car, whether you're doing a car for somebody or doing it for yourself, um, one of the issues with being mobile, or even with a regular car wash, actually, you run through an automated uh, car wash, you get water streaking from everywhere. You get water streaking from, uh, a lot of times, the corner of the lights. These light panels right here, light will, I mean, water will streak down from here. Um, you'll get it from the mirror, the window sills. A lot of times water will build up inside this trim down here. You'll get water in there. Of course, you're gonna get it, like when I was showing earlier in the video, this, this streak right here of water coming down. You're always gonna have water in the door jams. You lift up on them, you're gonna have water in there. Um, the streaks in the mirrors, you can get these streaks that are all right here in that area. That's just stuff that, uh, those are small things that you miss. Those are things that um, when someone's paying, you know, paying you to come over and, and, and do their car for them, whether you're washing or detailing, those are the kind of things they expect to, to be, you know, clean. Don't have like water spots and stuff like that all in there. And uh, yeah, you wanna be able to see your car, you know, ready to go for, you know, for the day after you get done paying someone to come by and, you know, spend some time on it. Those are things that, you know, some, there's a lot of customers that don't. There's a lot of people that don't. They don't, they don't recognize that stuff. They don't, they don't pay no attention to it. They're not even worried about it. Um, that goes along with price and everything when you're charging people for stuff, you know. That, that's, that's the story for another time. But, um, you know, if, you, if you're trying to do it and you're, you're trying to be legit, you, you want to be able to back it from the car and look at it and think, like, if this was my car, um, am I satisfied with that? I'm about to take off right now. I'm about to go cruising in my ride, you know. Do I, do I want water streaks all coming down? The car looks clean. You see all these water streaks. It just looks like it's just halfway done. It looks like you're being lazy, you know? Yes, it is a lot of work um, to keep up on all that, but knowing where those uh, all those water leaks are, you know, where, where everything streams from, the front end, the grill, um, you're going to probably pick up a lot of wind noise right now because my swamp cooler in my garage. But uh, So on the, on the front and the grill, you can see right here, water coming down on the side in the front. Um, there's different ways to attack that. There's different ways to come at that, you know, those streaks at the end. Of course, you, if you're outside, I mean, I brought this in. It's, it's got to be about 100 degrees outside right now. I'm sweating, so I brought it in the garage for the swamp cooler on. Um, there's different ways to go about it. If you're mobile, you know, if you have a trailer set up or it's stuff you have to pull out of your car to hook up to people's power, uh, you know, a pancake air compressor, or you know, air compressor like I have this. What is it? A 21 gallon. This guy right here, I got it from Harbor Freight. I think I paid like 210, 220 bucks for it. Uh, if you're, if, you know, of course you're not gonna take that to someone's house, but if, if you have, if you have the tools, uh, a compressor, blowing out, you know, with a, the right nozzle. Let's see here, uh, anything similar to this, this air chuck. This is gonna, you know, just stream straight air out, just a beam of air. It'll push water out of everywhere. Um, yeah, you'll be playing with it for a while if you're trying to do it out of the the nuts for the the wheels and everything like that. Water will kind of splash everywhere, but you just got to go over it with the rag. Um, another thing too, too, so yeah, let's let's get to this. So the trunk, the trunk's always going to have water here. I did start drying it, but you'll always have water all in these areas right here. Um, water will always be here after you wash the car. It's going to, you know, drip down into here and it's got this little area that it comes down this little canal right here and the water just all wants to sit right here and then eventually start going down the bumper as you're driving. Don't mind the mess of my trunk. This is my work car. But uh, yeah, drying up all that as much as you can. Uh, emblems. Water's gonna be sitting in there too. I don't know if you could see it, but there's little tiny specks of water in there. Um, with heat, it's gonna dry up and leave little streaks. It's not gonna look good, especially on black. Black shows up everything. Anything that's on there, black's gonna show it beautiful looks beautiful when it's clean but if there's anything dirty you're gonna notice it this is just from closing the trunk the water that was coming down making its way back up so things like that you know of course glass tenant windows you're gonna see it a lot you're gonna see water spots more than ever because black shows it whatever you know whatever's underneath that's black it's gonna show whatever's on top any dust particles anything like that so those are things to look out for um uh one of the things that you know I understand when you, if you're just starting and stuff like that, you're trying to buy, you know, maybe Amazon packages, which is perfectly fine, you know, as far as like rags, cleaning rags, microfiber rags. Um, you want to find good microfiber towels. You'll notice the, the, the little bit more you'll spend on, you know, money on, on products and, and cleaning tools and stuff like that. It's to, it's not for a bragging right, 
it's to make your job easier. You don't want, um, you know, cheap cloth, microfiber towels, whatever, and they don't absorb a lot of water. Um, you'll be, you'll notice you'll be wiping the car down. And you'll just see it smearing. The rags are already soaked up. You can't keep smearing more water, so you got to go grab another one and keep going and going and going. Um, there's different towels, you know, real thick plush, large pl uh, microfiber towels that'll uh, soak up the majority of the water just with, you know, maybe one or two wipes. That whole panel, the whole section. Go over the other side, flip that towel over, boom. They got towels that will take care of that. So you don't have to, you know, swap through so many different rags. Um, another thing to uh, prevent the water streaks and stuff like that, you know, well, to work with you with your towels. Um, if you buy an expensive towel, you know, you spent money on it, right away, don't, don't over dry your towels. If you can, hang dry them. Put them in the wash, wash them, do the regular cycle on them. Anytime you put heat on fibers, you're, you're eating at it. It's, it's just a fact. You're, you're eating at the fibers. You eat at the fibers, it starts, you know, just like, like paper. When you have paper and you go and light it, you know, put the, the lighter up to it, you see the, you know, the paper start burning back. Same thing with the fibers. They're just burning back. All you're doing is just taking that, you know, the plushness of the, the, the fibers away. Eventually when you do that, there's nothing there to absorb water. The water's not gonna absorb to it. And uh, you're just gonna smear the water. You'll be going over it and over and over it with rags and rags and rags until eventually, you know, regular air and everything is gonna take, take fact in that and uh, dry it for you. But it's just extra work. It's extra work you gotta look at, you know? So, uh, you know, keep in mind of those things. Um, there was no actual meaning for my video other than, you know, I just wanted to show, I know you guys seen in my other videos with my Explore. That was my baby. That was my pride and joy. I, you know, I put a lot into it. Um, I took really good care of it, but um, with my new job that I have, my, my actual, you know, my primary job that I do, I'm driving almost about an hour one way. So, you know, you're doing that back and forth five days out of the week on a V6 that's not made for, you know, getting good gas mileage on top of having off-road wheels, you know, it's sitting kind of higher, have a big roof rack on it, kind of just fighting the odds there, you know. Um, I hated to get rid of it. <clears throat> yeah, I could have bought a, could have bought a new commuter or something like that, but I really didn't want to go, I really didn't want to come out of pocket. Um, I'm, I've been pretty big on um, not trying to be in debt. Um, that's another thing you want to do is, you know, if you're, especially if you're doing detailing and stuff like that, you don't want to put yourself in debt with getting, you know, I understand if you got to start and stuff, but you don't have to get in and, you know what, I'm going to go get a credit card. I'm going to go buy, you know, a trailer setup. They got, they got trailer setups here with everything you need, you know, maybe like, Deionize water softener setup or something, a fancy you know um, pressure washer, a big generator, all these things, a huge uh, water tank, all this name brand stuff, you know the um, the hose reels, all that stuff. You know you'll end up spending three, five, six thousand dollars on a setup. You know if you want to do that, that's cool. If you're going to you know make that your career, that's something you might want to look into. Getting insurance and all that stuff for that is a must for that. But I'm not doing, you know, I'm not detailing for, for uh, money. I'm not, this is not my job. These are just things, you know, you take in factor of. But uh, yeah, where was I going with that? So yeah, my car, I wasn't looking into, you know, getting, financing another vehicle or something like that. I just wanted a clear wash. So I got rid of the Explorer. I ended up selling it for a great price. And I turned around and I bought this 2006 Honda Civic EX. Uh, I don't even I didn't even look at the specs on it. I don't even know as far as the motor goes. I think I don't know if it's like a 1.8 or something like that. Regardless, it was a four cylinder. I was looking them up online. It was showing the gas mileage was like anywhere from 30 to 41 miles to a gallon. That's a no brainer for me. I was spending like 500 bucks in gas driving to work. So this is the car. This this was the main you know motivation was to hey I got you know something new that I can be putting some videos on some washing on. And, uh, you know, start getting into, you know, maybe someone else who has black paint. Um, what they got to do to kind of keep it up, you know. Um, there's tons of things you can do, you know. You can polish it. You can wax it. You can ceramic coat it. Um, not sure if I'm going to go to that extent with this car. This is an aftermarket paint. It is not. You don't get the, you know, 
I mean, you get some reflection in there, but it's not like a glass-like look. Can I can I work at that? Yeah, I can. But like I said, it is an aftermarket paint. It's not it's not done like professionally, like at an actual shop. You know, usually you'll see like orange peel. It'll be on heavy. That's something like okay, yeah, I can come at that. You know, buff it, take some of that off, wax it, polish it, however you want to do it, and give it that glass effect. If I go at this with a polisher medium. I'm really gonna be eating at that paint. So that's not something I wanna do. Um, what I'll be doing most likely is, you know, of course, keeping up, maintaining the washes, running washes with with uh, some type of wax in the soap. You wanna go heavy on that. You noticed um, when I was first spraying, uh, and I'm trying to get as much soap on there as I can, and I keep going over the car and just kinda kept going over and over just to help keep that lubrication on the paint. You wanna keep as much lubrication as possible on there, especially if you're doing a black car. Um, you don't want water spots on something like that. That's horrible to have to go at. And it just looks ugly, you know, and you spend more time on that. So I'll be doing the washes on this, you know, a lot, trying to keep up on it as best as I can. It is my work car. I do want to take care of it. But, I mean, for you guys that watch my videos, I know you guys like to watch, you know, of course, that's what you guys are here for. You know, check it out. Watch how you're detailing cars, washing, all the techniques, different things that you can do. Um, yeah, so I'm not going crazy on it. I didn't go and do like a full... You know crazy wheel detail wash or anything like that uh just kind of wanted to give you guys you know an idea of what was new what's new here um as far as interior and everything goes on the car i mean she looks pretty good it's got an aftermarket stereo with the apple carplay and uh yeah it's nice to be able to pull up your gps by just telling siri where you're trying to go um the car's pretty clean uh, 2006 had 129,000 miles on it clean title got the car for 4200 bucks an additional 200 bucks to give me three months or 3,000 miles warranty power and train i couldn't complain oh and roadside assistance so uh yeah it's a mom and pop shop i found up in upland upland california and uh, it took care of me so yeah 4200 bucks and call it good so that's the new car guys uh you won't be seeing the explorer anymore uh, maybe in some of the videos, I don't know. The guy sold it to is local to where I live, so I do get to see it from time to time. But uh, there she is. So, um, one last thing that I wanted to point out in the video. If you noticed, I was using the pressure washer. I was using my little, you know, the little stubby, the snub nose gun. Um, that thing's great. It's awesome. I love it. But you got to also prepare yourself for whenever things do happen. So, um, I guess I was, you know, overpowered on one side of the garage. I had too many things plugged in. I got the swamp cooler running. I'm running the pressure washer, and right after I rinsed the car, or as I was getting ready to rinse the car off, the power sh just shut off. So there goes your, you know, pressure washer. Um, I had no power to that. You know, I, I could have probably ran the extension cord over somewhere else to do it, but I wanted you guys to see what it's like real time, real life, what you have to do. I had an extra hose. I bought one of those small hoses they have at Home Depot. It's wrapped up in a little clear bucket. It looks like a little, like a slinky hose. I don't remember the exact name of it, but I'll put it, I'll put a link down in the description. I think I paid uh, 30 bucks for the hose. It is something so compact, so, you know, just versatile. You can shape it to whatever you need to. If you need to throw it in the bag, it's not like you're carrying an actual hose, winding it up and all that. It can go anywhere. I slapped it onto my spigot out in the front and I just started rinsing, rinsing the car off with that. You always got to have a backup plan. Um, technology's great. Electricity, you know, having all that stuff, running power tools, all that stuff's great, but you have to have a backup method. Now, if I was at someone's house and their power shut off and I'm doing a car like this, I got soap on it, hard water. It's not soft water, which not everybody has, you know, the option to have soft water. That's going to burn, you know, it's 100 degrees outside. That's going to burn into the paint. You're, that car is paint is toast so always have a backup plan um yeah if you can grab a hose have something small like that one i'll put a link in the description like i said so you can check it out i'm sure you can buy one on amazon i purchased mine at home depot uh always have a backup plan for anything that comes up there's always something that can happen um and detailing i put my hands on hundreds of cars you always run into these things you know always be uh you don't want to be like a you know always worried about everything but in a sense you do what if what if this happens what if that happens what if my canopy takes off i got a canopy i'm using outside someone's house on their car you know the, i'm trying to have shade 
and then boom, it's a beautiful day and a gust of wind comes. <sighs> Lifts up that canopy and rips against the whole car. Now you might be having a look into if you have insurance or not, using that insurance. If you don't, you're gonna be looking at some trouble. You're gonna be paying for somebody's paint. Something's gonna happen. So just uh, prepare yourself. Try to you know be safe. Take you know all the safety precautions and measures. Do what it is you need to do to try to get the job done, you know, safely, correctly, with the least amount of, uh, you know, money that it's going to cost you by you cutting corners. So, yeah, guys, uh, that's it for now. I'm sorry I haven't been able to throw up a lot of content lately. I've been having a lot of personal things going on, you know, wife, wife in the hospital, just trying to take care of her health situations and stuff like that. And uh, just, you know, being a dad, it's, it's part of life. It's very demanding, you know, I'm bouncing, juggling between work. You know, I'm making breakfast, doing dinners, all that stuff. Not to complain, God's good. I'm grateful for the opportunity to be able to do the things I do, to have the job I have. But I still want to be able to get you guys some content, you know. Give you guys something to look at, some pointers. Um, you know, I, I got more videos I do. I think the next video I'll be doing will be just coming up with like things you got to deal with when you're talking to a customer. How you present yourself, how you stand your ground, how you want to base your prices, what kind of things you're going to be looking at. Those are going to be more the things that um, I'll be doing. I notice I'm a big talker. Uh, I feel like I got to explain a lot of things, but I think for people like me that need that kind of explanation to understand things, um, I feel that'll be a tool for you guys. If you guys are, you know, into that, that's what you guys like doing. Try to do the first half of the video, you know, with no sound, put on some music and stuff like that, but want to be able to, you know, get you guys some good info. Um, let me know what kind of uh, stuff you guys like to use with your guys' detailing. What kind of stuff you like to do with your methods? Do you like to, you know, wash, do your wheels first, then your car, vice versa? Do you guys, you know, like to focus on, you know, let me know. Let me know what you what you guys think, you know, as far as um, do you guys lift up the windshield wipers? Do you guys clean the windshield blades? Um, small things like that. What do you do to get the water from dripping off your car? Um, what are your drying methods? Do you guys use spray waxes to, um, you know, help, help dry the car when you're using your rags? I know that's a method that helps. I've used it a couple times. Let me know the things that you guys are into. Let me know the things that you guys want to see. Um, yeah, just, you know, every time people, uh, you know, ask questions or leave comments, I always get back to you. I try my best to get back to you. If I don't right away, I'll get to it eventually. So yeah, just, uh, you know, let me know what your guys' methods are, how you guys take care of doing black cars, you know, what do you do to maintain your vehicles? What are you guys doing as far as, you know, gas prices right now? Are you guys in a slump right now with a vehicle that's, you know, costing you crazy in gas money? Are you guys trying to do what I'm doing? get you something that's cheap something nice it looks real nice hondas last forever you know did i did i make a good choice you guys let me know you know talk to me about it give me some feedback and uh yeah just i'm here to build relationships help you guys out and that's what we do man so you guys stay blessed love you all you guys have fun doing what you're doing detailing you know for for business or doing it for yourself doing what you love i got the same interests as you hey eh? we got something in common you guys have a good one take care god bless